So, as you know, we do a lot of Shinobi Boost on this channel. Did a whole playlist on it. But today we're going to be trying something different, so stay tuned. But before we get into the full video and stuff, you know we're doing the Shinobi or Anime Trivia. So, the trivia question for today. Where did Baruto get his Jugon and when is the last time he's used it in the anime? But in today's video, we're going to be talking about power in spades and... We've already broke it down, you know, what it actually does, but in today's video, we're going to be showing you the best way to actually use it when you're in battle. So if this is something you think you might be interested in, stay tuned to the end of the video. If you've been here before and you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know when we post new videos. And let's go ahead and hop to this content. Okay, so when we talk about power in spades, this is one of the clothing skills that most, you know, most classes can use, but for the most part, this is very tailored for ranged and I'd say kind of healer types, but this is mainly because there's not really, what we're going to say is basically so, the thing that you need to realize about power in spades, the way to bring out the most out of it is you need to either be reducing the defense of the opponent you're trying to utilize the skill on, or you need to be increasing your attack power strength or a combination of both so using something like the raging god pill or something that's going to increase your damage output while also reducing their defense is going to allow you to maximize what you get out of this clothing skill now pairing these things together this is where it gets harder and this is why I say this is more so seems like it's more so for range types because it's a lot easier for range types to reduce your defense but when we go through all the things that reduce the defense, make sure to drop in the comments if there's something that doesn't. But for the most part, things that are going to reduce the defense is going to be the Glimmering Flame. This is a ninja tool that I don't have, and I wish I had it, and I'm waiting for it to come back. Because, you know, this is going to allow me to do all different types of combos that just eat away health. Also, the Raging God Medicine. This is also going to allow you to get an attack power boost. This doesn't reduce the defense, but this works well with power and spades. Some other things that might help you that actually reduce defense is going to be Amaterasu, this jutsu. Now the activation, you gotta you gotta be pretty skilled with it. Like it's kinda hard to miss. Well no, it's not hard to miss, but you gotta know how to combo it well. And if you pair it with things like the Crimson Star or even a Majestic, if you fire a Majestic after it, it's just gonna be crazy. And then also the Rosin Shuriken, this is what the attack types have. But the thing about the Rosin Shuriken, the tracking on it is so awful. It's it's really you really do have to set it up to be able to hit this or catch them out of their slow get up animation And then range types also have the combi lightning blade This is also going to allow them to reduce the defense and this is why I say it's so much easier for range types Because they have majestic and they have combi lightning blade as far as the defense types The only thing that y'all really have that's going to reduce the defense is going to be the glimmering frame and that's pretty much it besides unless you use a substitution there are some substitutions that you can use the water clone and the bird clone also both reduce the defense of their opponent whenever they're hit with it but not a lot of people you know that's going to run into those clones unless they're just spamming the hit button and then when we go over to the healer types the healer types also have two jutsus that are going to reduce defense and that's going to be the shadow stitching jutsu that you get from shikamaru and then also the new jutsu that you got from madara if you charge it enough the Sage Art Thunder Blast is going to reduce the defense. But if you can pair these Jutsus right and, you know, comp them with other things like maybe using the Sage Art Thunder Blast and then coming with the Yasuka Beads or something like that, you're going to have a lot of success. But for the most part, truthfully, Power in Spades seems like it's really more of a range type clothing skill. Now, you can use this for attack types and defense types, but you're going to need to utilize the Glimmering Flame. And this is just all my opinion. Truthfully, Power and Spades is still going to make a difference, but I don't really feel like there's much of a point of having Power and Spades on unless you're going to be running something that's going to reduce the defense of your opponent 
or unless you have somebody else that can help you combo because that's when you're going to get the most out of it if you don't have that it'd be a lot better to just run something like lightning speed or reckless charge or even the first blood even though y'all know how I feel about first blood first blood works but we won't even get into that but hopefully this helps you understand more how to utilize power and spades and how to bring the most out of it but um that's gonna be it for today's video let me know any other clothing skills that you know that I broke down that you don't really still understand how to use or maximize the capabilities of it and I will drop more videos like this I'm not gonna be going over every clothing skill because some of them are you know self-explanatory there's not really much else to bring out about it but if there's certain ones that you've been having trouble using or actually you know finding ways to actually utilize it the best way let me know and I'll get in the lab and start putting some stuff together for y'all but if you made it this far, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you can know whenever we post new videos. I appreciate all the support, and I'm going to see y'all next time. We up.